I'm Kevin Cameron, and I want to talk about the disagreeable comparison between a gas turbine, here's a blade from a military gas turbine, and piston engines. One horsepower is the ability to perform 550 foot-pounds of work per second. Now that standard was developed by James Watt when he had to explain to mine owners and investors what his steam engines could do. Now if you imagine a large draft horse with those feathery feet plodding forward, pulling a cable that's lifting a 550 pound weight at the rate of one foot per second, that is one horsepower. You've heard people talk about piston speed. Sometimes the old sports car magazines talked about a limiting piston speed at 4,000 feet per minute. Well, 5,280 feet per minute is 60 miles per hour. One mile per minute is 60 miles per hour. So a piston in a racing engine is moving at an average speed of 50 miles per hour or so. Turbine blade, of which there are perhaps hundreds arranged around a turbine disc made out of the most fantastic super alloys, is moving at a speed of up to 1,500 feet per second. So that a single turbine blade may generate as much as 300 horsepower. No comparison. But wait, then we think about very large marine diesels, the kind that transport all of the world's goods in international trade. Those things have cylinder bores measured in feet. You could stand up in the cylinder bore with a flashlight looking for wear. Some of those engines develop 10,000 horsepower per cylinder. In their case, they're not achieving that power by speed, but by enormous size and high pressure. The piston engine in the form of marine diesels has a future. So it does in the case of gas turbines. Piston engine for motorcycles? It'll be with us for a while, but I have no idea how long. It all depends on advances in battery energy density something to think about.